So today I'm talking about a P0030 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0030 code? Well, it's an HO2S heater control circuit. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors that are located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture going into the engine. And then the second thing they do is they have heater elements built in. And this does a few things. The heater elements help go into what's called a closed loop quicker. And they also also monitor the catalytic converter since the catalytic converter can heat up too much when it starts to fail so the heater elements are watching for this and with the p0030 code the onboard computer seeing the problem in the heater elements inside of these o2 sensors so it's going to, have to be troubleshooted to know why and some possible causes of this well it could be a bad sensor could be in the wiring could be a blown fuse and possibly an exhaust leak so keep a lookout for that if you have an exhaust leak it can throw off the sensors and so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate these o2 sensors on your particular vehicle Vehicle, since there can be some differences and it's really going to vary there might only be two sensors there could be four sensors it's really going to vary if you have a four cylinder or a six cylinder and things like this so it's always a good idea to, to get a diagram for your particular vehicle engine type and things like this since there can be differences for example here's a 2007 Camry with a 3.5 liter v6 and it has four sensors but the first thing to do is to go locate these o2 sensors on your particular vehicle and then the next thing to do is to check out the wiring be sure the wiring all looks good and basically just keep in mind anything wrong with the wiring open short bad connection is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor so you want to check that out be sure that looks good also keep in mind that these are going to be on a fuse and sometimes a relay this is usually located inside the engine compartment there'll be a fuse box for example here's a 2005 Toyota Tacoma and this AF heater fuse right here this would be the fuse for it and it also has a relay right here AF heater and if this fuse blew or if this relay went bad then it could cause an issue so that's something to keep in mind and so if you've gone through and you check that the wiring looks good there's no blow on fuses or anything like that but very likely that sensor has just failed and just needs to be replaced you can't test these sensors if you want to especially the heater element side if you have a multimeter you could usually just check to see if they have continuity on the heater circuit side since it's kind of like a light bulb if they burn out they don't work and the heater element side is always going to be the same two colored wires while the mismatch match wires are going to be for the oxygen sensor side i made a video on this i'll put a link down below if you want to check that out but the next thing to do is to go through and test these sensors by using a meter and check to see if that heater element is burnt out on one of them and if you do find a bad sensor then one thing to mention is that sometimes you need this special tool to get them in and out not all the time sometimes they will be located out in the open where you can use an open end wrench but sometimes they are recessed down in there into the exhaust where you need to get this special tool to get them in and out. I'll put a link down below to this tool if you need to see what I'm talking about. But basically at this point, very likely you have a bad sensor. So use a multimeter to find it and then replace it. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a quick video on how you go about fixing a P0030 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.